Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we're going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart and analyzing the massive volatility that we have been seeing here over the past few days. And then I'm going to be moving on to what's happening right now, the level that we're rejecting from and what I'm looking at next over the rest of this week going into the weekends. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. I truly believe you're going to learn a lot from it. Please just pay full attention to everything that I'm saying. Write down some notes and by the end of this video, you will be pleased in yourself for paying attention because I can truly say you're going to learn something from it. So without further said or do, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into what you're here for. And that is the analysis here on the Bitcoin chart. Starting off with this section to the left of what's happened over the past few days to educate you and then moving on to what's happening now and for the rest of the week to come into the weekend. I'm going to be telling you all the information you need to know. Pay attention. Let's begin. So to start off with here, I want to cover this and the large rise to the upside that we saw before the drop. And I'm not here to deny the news events right now are causing large volatility. I actually agree with that. The last few massive rises and drops that we've seen have become in conjunction with okay, uh, news events such as the FOMC. And uh, for me, this is integral now part of analyzing the markets just to be aware of when CBI data is coming out, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Just be aware of those times and days because there is a now an increased probability of volatility coming into those times. So you know, I'm not going to deny that. But what I am going to say is the levels that you're moving up into. Yes, this is real big volatility. This is a 7% move in a matter of minutes, a 7% drop in a matter of minutes, followed by a rise of 6.5% in a matter of minutes, you know. So there's definitely increased volatility around these news times. But what I'm here to show you in this video is that using technical analysis, we can successfully trade these highly volatility moves, high volatility moves, okay? It's definitely possible. It truly is. And yes, just because the news event is increasing the volatility and the speed of the moves, the actual technicals are what are producing the highs and lows. So let me explain to you, because I, I know that some people are going to view this and be like, wow, the news events are causing massive volatility. This is impossible to trade. It's a gamble. There's no way anybody can trade this. I'm actually going to show you the absolute total respect that you have off of these levels. I'm just going to hide this lower daily a second because this is a new daily that we've had on from today. So I'm just going to hide this a second. And let me just explain this section of the chart for a second. So the rise that we had here. I know some people might think, well, there's no way anyone could have predicted that. Well, that we could have. What did we have up here as our confluence? Well, the 20,000 psychological level followed by this, okay, which was our uh, time point of control. So you can see here the time point of control. I actually have it loaded up on Excel. Coming in at around $20,025. So let's think about this together. You have your 20,000 psychological. You have your TPOC. And you have a selling tail above $20,000. So you can see here how this is a massive liquidity grab. Once again, you have to be a confident and quick trader to take advantage of these moves. But I myself am a confident and quick trader, and I personally was able to take advantage of this. You see and basically a type of SFP onto the TPOC. Below this, you also had the uh, naked point of control of the volume. So you're talking about four strong levels of confluence for a rejection here. And they all come up together or simultaneously, the ES was also rejecting. So this is another reason for expecting downside. So we're talking about their five, almost six levels of real strong confluence to take a short position. And again, right at the exact high, just look at this TPOC timing, the exact high of the move around $20,050, right? $20,050. The higher this move, $20,050 more or less. So that's how you time the exact time. Let's say you were a bit too slow for that move. I understand you had to be a very good trader to take advantage of that high, getting in with market orders, confidence very high. So let's say you missed that really big move to the downside. No worries. You got a retest. And what happened on this retest? crazy big bearish divergences. Lower high, look how massively higher high the CVD is here. So you had this massively big bearish CVD divergences on the retest of this high, while simultaneously 
the ES is extremely weak, extremely weak on the ES. Okay, moving down towards the monthly. This was a very big sign that the retest is going to be bearish on Bitcoin because the ES is really, 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 really weak. Okay. And of course, you saw a subsequent move to the downside. Well, also the DXY was really strong. Okay. So at the time, you were seeing rises on the DXY, you were seeing drops on the ES, you were seeing drops on Bitcoin. These are our correlated and inversely correlated assets doing what you would expect. Okay, so that has hopefully explained this reason why we put in the exact high. Okay, the reason why we put in the exact high at $20,050. And then the reason I'll show you now why we put in the exact low. What happened at the exact low? Simply a swing failure pattern. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary there. Swing failure pattern. Okay, so from the TPOC zone of confluence around that psychological $20,000 which I must admit I didn't think was a massive level of resistance, but I nevertheless knew it was a resistance level. And upon seeing the reaction of the selling tail, taking out the liquidity on your levels of confluence, you know, you can react from this. This is a reactable trade. This is what you call a bearish reaction. Drop, retest, drop with your buying tail onto your swing failure pattern. I just want to explain this one more time. Anybody that says this is all based off the news, la, 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 la. I'm here showing you for real, this is truly technical. Each high, each low, technical analysis, it's your traders that are taking advantage of this market. They truly are. We are running this market and there's nothing people can say to deny that. So then I'll show you the next reason why I put this exact high here. Okay, Fibonacci from the high down to the low. And what do we come up into? We come up into our CC. Okay, so we're seeing exact highs, exact lows, you know, NPOC regions, swing failure pattern, CC Fibonacci. Okay, this is extremely technical price action. And once again, in confluence with the ES. So here, Bitcoin hits the CC. And what happens simultaneously? Well, you start to see the ES pull back, okay, to come down and take its last low. So this is really, really, for me, very nice, very technical price action. Nothing out of the ordinary, no surprises to be had. It's all actually very well respected. Okay. So now what am I looking for next? Well, we have a few key levels here, right? Obviously the CC is still nevertheless like a, a key level, but what I'll be looking for if we can break this is it's actually towards this 20,220 daily level, because now we've actually built up some quite nice liquidity resting above all of these highs. So I'm very interested in that daily at 20,220. OK, of course, if we break that, I look towards my next level to the upside. But for me, this is my key level to the upside currently. If we can break and hold around to 19,700, because I'm not going to forget 19,700 is like a massive weekly level right now um, in terms of volume. But if we can claim that, then I'll be looking towards that daily, to be honest with you. Um, and then to the downside, I think the levels of support are not as strong, to be honest with you. But we can obviously have this potential of a Gartley pattern, which is basically along this sort of lines. We'll be looking for this drop, our rise, our drop, and then our rise, which bring us up to 19,700 zone-ish. Okay, and obviously if we can break through 19,700, we'll actually be looking for the, um, for the for the daily zone. And if we break through that, my next level to the upside. Uh, personally, I'll be slightly cautious with my longs down and around the C of this harmonic, slightly because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning more, 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 more bearish, right? So... That's why I'm just a little bit more cautious always, just basing my trades off of the reaction. I'm not going to be like pre-sitting any longs here and going YOLO into any longs. No, I'm much more cautious on long positions. Uh, if I just check the order flow here, you know, this is uh, not exactly bear. I mean, it's not exactly bullish. Okay, you can see massive, massive open interest increasing with the rise. This is fairly neutral for me at the moment after the rejection of the CC coming back and back testing previous day value area low. So we can have that potential CCV setup still in play as long as we don't lose the previous day value area low because um, your daily open was all the way at 18,400. So yeah, you have that this uh, 19,469 for the CCV uh, as long as we maintain the PD val. Um, so right now, I think, in my opinion, there's no need to be scared. There's no need to be fearful. I really hope with these videos, I'm bringing clarity and calmness, showing you it's definitely possible to be predicting these moves. Yeah, these were predictions that I made in advance, levels that we can be coming up to, levels that we can be rejecting from, okay? This is nothing new. This is nothing 
like you've never seen before. I mean, how many times have you seen these things like swing failure patterns? You know, this is to, to a CC. This is what we're doing every single day. Every single day we're doing this type of analysis, right? This is what this is our bread and butter for chart champions. And this is how we're able to come in here with confidence to extract money while the world is fearful, while the world is scared, or even while the world has no idea what's going on. You know, why is the market going up? Why is the market going down? Oh, it's to do with this, it's to do with that. No, it's to do with the technical analysis that I'm showing you right here. And I know some people do not agree with me on that. But, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not here to try and convince anybody of what they don't want to believe. You can believe this. I'm showing you the evidence right in front of your eyes. If you still don't believe it, then it's up to you at the end of the day. I, I don't need to prove anything to anybody. I'm here to show you what I've done, how I've traded this, what I'm looking for next, the levels that I'll be looking to trade. Okay, so we got that harmonic to be aware of. Of course, if we lose the swing failure pattern low, I'm still looking towards this daily around low $17,000. Um, but for now, we've seen another swing failure pattern. We have a, the potential harmonic. And um, for me, this would require then a little bit of patience, right? For another drop to the downside to get your harmonic test, which could come just below the daily, okay? Because you might want to grab some of this liquidity. Um and then uh, the the nineteen seven hundred suit to daily above us, and I think this will bring us up to the next few days for the for the weekend. So, um, yeah, what I would say is, if you've enjoyed this video, please give a like to it. Hit that like button. Shows you me that you really enjoy the video, that you want to see more. And if you want to give a lovely comment down below, then hey, you're more than welcome to. I do read every single comment. Um, so yeah, that would make my day. Give a like, give a comment, share the love. If you want to see more from us, of course, over at chartchampions.com, you've got all of the educational material. Here we have the whole of the course where you can come in, educate yourself, learn about what we're doing, how we're trading every day. Obviously, now we have the speed runs, which is the five minute video of the hour to two hour long course videos, speed runs. And now, of course, we've added in the live trading. If you wanted to see the live trading. We've got our we've got our live trading account set up so you can watch us doing our analysis, talking you through it live in the time as it's happening. So if that's of interest to you, that's over at chartchampions.com. And from me and the rest of the coaches here, I just want to wish you a very good rest of the day to come. Hope you've enjoyed this price action. I thank you ever so much and uh, stay safe, everybody out there. There is a lot of volatility, but that doesn't mean we cannot be making successful trades. So thank you ever so much. Enjoy your rest of the day. And that's me signing out. Goodbye with the disclaimer of no financial advice. Of course, it's just an entertainment educational video only. Make sure you understand that legal disclaimer for every video that we've ever made and will make into the future. Thank you and goodbye. Cheers.